Hey friends, Lindsay here back for another tutorial, this time showing you how you can combine the powerful cutting abilities of your brother's scan and cut machine with the very powerful design software capabilities of Silhouette Studio. Yes, it's possible and I'll show you how and why you want to consider doing it. Now, your Scan and Cut machine does have its own design software called Canvas Workspace, and you can use the machine directly um, on its screen to um, open designs and make minor edits and such. Now, the Silhouette Company, the makers of the Silhouette Cameo and Portrait, um, has its own design software called Silhouette Studio, which is a very powerful but user-friendly uh, design software that really does allow you to make some pretty impressive edits. Now, if you already have a scan and cut, don't worry, you don't need to buy a Silhouette machine in order to use their software. You do need to get your hands on the Silhouette Studio Business Edition software. And I do have a link in the description of where you can purchase it at Swing Design. It's the business edition software that allows you to save and export your designs created or edited in Silhouette Studio um, as an SVG, which you can then um, open on um, your Brother Scan and Cut or in Brother Canvas Workspace. So now with your Scan and Cut machine fired up and ready to go and Silhouette Studio Business Edition installed in your computer, we're now ready to walk you step by step how to do a Scan and Cut project with Silhouette Studio um, design software. So first, start by importing your file to Silhouette Studio. Go to File, then select Merge to open the design in the same workspace as you have open. Then find the design saved on your computer. I'm opening a PNG image file from this 4th of July sticker set. I threw the link in the video description if you want to check out this sticker set in SoFonsi's June 2021 bundle. Um, but instead of making stickers, I actually want to cut this design from vinyl. But since it's a PNG file, it does require that I trace it. And while Canvas Workspace does have a tracing feature, the one in Silhouette Studio is a little more powerful, so I wanted to use that instead. So I'm not gonna go too much into detail about how to use the tracing tool in Silhouette Studio, but uh, I did wanna be able to show you that uh, you can use Silhouette Studio Business Edition to make the uh, edits that you want to your designs um, because there's many features that aren't available in Canvas Workspace and there's a lot you can do to achieve that perfect design you want for your project. But in the end, since I have a scan and cut, I want my scan and cut to cut out this design. So once I'm done making all the edits I want to this 4th of July design, um, I'm gonna select everything that I want my scan and cut to cut out, then go to File, then select Save Selection, then Save to Hard Drive. Go ahead and name the file, then in the Save as Type box underneath the name, um, open that drop down menu to select SVG then click OK to save it. Now you'll go ahead and open up Canvas Workspace, go to that SVG button on the left and open the SVG file that you just saved. And here it is, that file that you edited in Silhouette Studio and made exactly how you wanted it. Here it is now open in Canvas Workspace and you would treat it just as you would any other SVG design in Canvas Workspace. The only thing that I'm going to do is adjust the size of it a little bit and then add um, registration marks because this will be a multicolor vinyl decal, so I'll need to add those registration marks to help me later when I'm aligning the vinyl decal. But now just go ahead and send that design to your Scan and Cut and cut it out. So here's all the vinyl colors applied to the cutting mat. This is Oracle 651 Permanent Adhesive Vinyl, and I'm using the Brother Scan and Cut SDX 125E. There are links in the video description if you want to check out the supplies that I'm using. Load the mat into the machine and retrieve the design that you just sent over and let the scan and cut cut it out. Off camera, I already did a test cut, so I know the, the uh, cut settings I want to use, but even after it's done, it's still a good idea that before unloading the cutting mat, you do a test weed just to make sure that you got that perfect cut. Then go ahead and weed out all that excess vinyl from the vinyl colors. I like to use a hand sewing needle to do my weeding, but you know, use whatever works best for you. 
Next, grab your transfer tape and cut a piece that is big enough to, to cover the entire finished decal. And transfer uh, the vinyl to the transfer tape, starting with the layer that's in front. So that is that this white piece that sits on top of the black. Use those square registration marks as a guide to help line up the layers until you have all the vinyl layers transferred onto that piece of transfer tape. Then go ahead and remove the vinyl registration marks and you can just throw those away. And then remove the vinyl backing, but actually put the vinyl backing back on so you can use the hinge method to apply the vinyl to your surface. This is a decorative container from the Dollar Tree. Put a piece of tape down the middle of the decal to temporarily hold it down to the surface and then peel back one half of the decal and cut away that vinyl backing. Lay that side down um, and burnish it well onto the surface and then repeat that on the other side and you'll have placed your vinyl decal exactly where you want it. Don't forget to burnish it really, really well and remove that transfer tape. So there you have it, my friends. We started this project in Silhouette Studio to use the powerful features of the Silhouette Studio design software on our design and then use the power of our scan and cut to cut out and create this festive vinyl decal. You'll need Silhouette Studio Business Edition software to use it with your brother Scan and Cut. And I have those links in the video description if you want to check it out. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope that you have a fabulous day and then we'll see you next time. Bye friends.